So, the fastest way to do a simple fraction like this on the calculator is to make use of this button here. So I'm going to press this button and then I'm going to put the fraction in. So it's 4 plus 2 and I'm going to use this circle thing, cursor thing and press down and 1, 7 equals 6 17 So I can write 6 17 here which is obvious right? 1, 2 is 6. Now if you want to get this in decimals you're going to press this S D button. And there we go. So that is U day. So we can go to maybe three decimal places. So 0 0.353. Okay, the three decimal places. The three significant figures in this case as well. Alright, let's try something harder. So if you have something like this now, what would you do? Three and one sixth. Uh, see, it can you get ties up to get at um, three and one sixth. Student, be pressing three and then and, and do a R thing so and then press. Um, it kind it kind of messed up. Like, how do we get it three and one sixth? Or do we put three and one sixth? Yeah, but the best thing to do is actually make use of this. I don't know if you see it. There's a mixed number, so you're gonna actually press shift and that so you get your nice three and one six but then there's another problem the other problem is this needs to this whole thing needs to be an enumerator so we need to actually start off with the first fraction so i'm going to start over press this so right and now i'm in the numerator of the first big fraction this one over this one and i'm going to give them the mixed number now bang and I'll put my three and one sixth minus sign 45. Make sure my calculator in degrees. It is and over 1.3. To be squared, I'll just make use of this uh, minus a half. So I'll need another fraction there. One over two. So it's in a very natural display. That's what makes this calculator so nifty. And you could actually verify that it's the same exact thing on the test paper. This is a classic CXC maths question. In the first question you meet in the paper. And you can press equal. Let him fight up a little bit. And you get your answer. 2.07 to 3 significant figures. 2, 3 significant figures. Well, that brings us to the end here. Uh, and the next series of videos, I want to focus on this calculator. And we'll be doing some all the tips and tricks on this calculator, the Casio FX115 is plus. We have MD if you're looking for the brand of the calculator. That's this guy. Um, today we just focus on fractions and mixed numbers. I did some fractions to decimals, a simple fraction, a complex fraction. Um, uh, what else do you want to know in this? I'm going to give a nice little series, maybe. 10 videos um, on this calculator, the top most used tips and tricks for Casio FX115 years plus. Don't forget to press like, don't forget to subscribe, check me out on Instagram. If you're interested in new classes, we have that as well. Love and lessons.